Hello, and welcome to Justin Movies, uh, GBTV Justin Movies. And in a slightly weird setup, I'm here with Dominique. <laughs> uh, so thank you for joining me. Of course. <laughs> of course. And we're going to talk about some of the movies that are coming up, uh, in soon. So Dominique, what do you got to share with us? Okay, well you guys, I've got quite a few movies today, and I am missing my, my movie buffer, uh, Tracy, but we're going to still kick this off in, on behalf of her but um so i'm gonna talk about mafia mama um to super mario brothers movie john wick 4 avatar the way of water and evil dead rise as well so i'm covering almost every genre that yeah you no that's of, quite right? a wide like variety Spectrum, right? <laughs> yes so i'm gonna start off with what came out today so today um this is june 6th we have mafia mama um, so this particular film stars Tony Collette, which I know, I mean, Tony Collette has been acting for so long. So she starred in like movies like The Sixth Sense, um, To Muriel's Wedding, To Nightmare Alley, Knives Out, and Hereditary, which are her most recent films. Um, but this one, this particular film, is where she plays a mild-mannered suburban mom, unexpectedly inherits her late grandfather's uh, mafia empire. Um, she hilariously defies everyone's expectations as she finds herself stuck in the middle of a deadly mob war. Um, so this particular film is rated R, um, and it is a comedy adventure, um, and I think this is one of those, like, kind of make fun of all of the mafia films kind of thing. It kind of sounds like but it. Yeah, it throws in the suburban mom, so I'm not sure <laughs> what yeah. you think about that kind of I think it's definitely a premise I wouldn't have thought of for a mafia movie, exactly. but I mean, I guess that's kind of the draw, though. <laughs> exactly, and I mean, Tony Collette is known to like play all types of different like characters, so this one is is definitely a new one for me. Um, but she's known to play comedies as well. So this one's my favorite because this is games. Yes, yes, I I would think so. Okay. This is I hear about it a lot. So exactly. So we're what we're talking about is the Super Mario movie which I know a lot of you families who come visit the library is excited to get their hands on this particular copy. Um, so, but this, this film was done phenomenal. I mean, this film also depicts a lot of the original, like the 80s Super Mario references, 90s video games of Mario. I mean, you can name it, even to the most current stuff of Mario, it's all depicted inside of each part of this film and it's, it's well done. I know a lot of people were a little, like, not happy with Chris Pratt being Mario. I hear about that the most. But I think he nailed it. I, I'll be honest. I, and, and I'm a strickler when it comes down to Mario Brothers. But, I mean, so this particular film is all about where um, there's help coming from Princess Peach. Um, Mario is kind of getting ready to square off against the all-powerful all Bowser to stop his plan for conquering the world, which is a typical storyline of every Mario Brothers uh, video game. Um, but this time it's Mario getting the help of Princess instead of vice versa. So this is really, really interesting. Um, so the person who plays Bowser is Jack Black. Yes. And, and anybody who, I don't know, parents, I know you're tired of that Peaches, Peaches, Peaches song. <laughs> I hear it every day with my youngest, but um, that this movie is really, really awesome. Um, so what do you, what do you think? Yeah, no, I, time? yeah, I, I might have to look into this because I, weirdly enough, have not seen it yet. And that would have been the one movie I would actually go see. Okay, <laughs> nice. Okay, so you're going to be waiting for the copy. Yeah, I am so definitely going to be waiting. Nice. So this film is rated PG-13. And again, this comes out um, next week. So very soon, right? So uh -huh. on that same day, we have John Wick 4. At the complete opposite the end. The complete opposite <laughs> of Super Mario Brothers. I am a John Wick fan, um, and I've seen every single John Wick film. And one thing that I have to say that I love about John Wick's films is that it really does pick off where it last ended with the previous film, and it just carries on that story, and it stays there. And the action is just great. Um, so with part four, John Wick uncovers a path of defeating the high table, which anyone who's watched all of the um, John Wick films it's all about the high table. Um, but before he can earn his freedom, Wick must face off against a new enemy with powerful alliances across the globe and forces that turn old friends into foes. So John Wick is all over. 
Yeah. But he can carry his own. Um, but Keanu Reeves does phenomenal with his character. Um, who's also starring in this film is Lawrence Fishburne. Um, and there's an actor that you have to just kind of keep your eyes out for is a Shamir Anderson who plays like the tracker of this film. Um, and this guy is actually from Degrassi Next Generation, which is a Drake. Drake did that as well. Um, but this film is awesome. If you love action films, I don't know if you're into Yeah, I, I style, am. I am into action films okay. and I, I love Keanu Reeves. Okay. So, cool. yeah. So no, there it, you go. Yeah. If you love Keanu Reeves action films, this is, this is the one for you. Now, I will have to say to parents, there is a lot of, like, blood shooting all kind of sorts. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's, it's a lot going on in this film, but, you know, so when you put them to bed, just for you to watch and enjoy, and I guarantee you from beginning, middle, and end, you will love this film, and it will keep you intrigued throughout the entire film. So, the next one up, so this is Avatar's The Way of Water, and I was actually a little bit hesitant to see this film. Okay, I'm glad we're sort of on the same page. Okay. I, I honestly could not get through the first one. Really? Yeah, it I was, did, but it just, I don't know, pacing wasn't there for me. Okay, gotcha. But I don't know, have you seen the second one as no. of yet? Okay, this one does pick up. This one I've is not going to, um, because I mean, the first one was telling a story to get mm -hmm. you to learn about characters, but this one is a little faster. So Jake Sully and Akiri have, they, they now are family, they're parents now. So they're trying to, you know, understand parenting and, and creating this family and, and trying to stay together. Um, now they do come through, they, they, they do get through some kind of um, situation where they have to leave their home. Um, so there is danger. So now they have to kind of explore the region of Pandora just to find a safe place for their family. Um, and, you know, so there is an ancient threat that kind of surfaces and Jake has to like, you know, he must fight a difficult war against humans. So it's once again, I don't know, I don't know what's up with us humans. We tend to like bother these, you know, these creatures for some reason. I mean, it is a very standard uh, story setting. Pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. Um, but I think Zoe Zendaya and Sam Worthington, which they reoccur their characters, which was phenomenally done. I mean, and as always, just the, the graphics, the CGI was on point. It was absolutely amazing. And you get to, they're introducing some new characters, some younger ones, which I think they're gonna try to carry it on, but this was phenomenal. And it is a PG-13 film, okay. so for everyone. Um, it's sci-fi action, and again, so this comes out on June 20th for this particular film. So are you gonna... Right. Uh, maybe, maybe, the, maybe. I, I'm more interested since if it, the world's already established, it will probably be a lot easier to watch. Exactly. I'm, I'm sure of it. I think you're going to like this one, the second one. And you don't have to actually see the first one to really watch the second one. So that's, that's a good thing. All right, guys. So I've got one more film for you. Now, this is what it's in my genre, which is horror films. I am an evil dead head, so I, I am a deadite. So I, I love this particular film. I am a little hesitant because this does kind of spring off of the Evil Dead um, trilogies, but uh, what is really good about this particular film, the executive producer is Bruce Campbell, who plays Ash in all of the original Evil Dead. Um, so basically the film stars is Lily Sullivan, um, Alyssa Sutherland, and Alyssa Sutherland is from a History Channel film, or TV series, excuse me, called Vikings. Um, so these are uh, two strange sisters trying to survive and save their family from deadites. Every Evil Dead film, everyone's trying to survive deadites. So it's the typical Evil Dead-ish kind of mm. vibe to it. So I don't know, have you ever saw Evil See, Dead? See, I am. Not, I've seen the original Evil Dead, okay. uh, but okay. uh, I'm really not into horror movies. I don't know what it is. I can't do them. Can't I do can do them. horror in all other media, just not movies. <laughs> That's fair. That's totally fair. Not everyone's not into horror movies, but I think this one seems a little interesting because it is a little different take on the Evil Dead um, trilogies. Um, and this one is rated R, um, and this is horror fantasy, and this does come out on June 27th. So you guys, just a quick, you know, overview of some new movies starting today, all the way up until the end of this month of what's coming out. Mm -hmm. So definitely, you know, use your library card. And if you don't have a Gilborn library card, come pay any of our branch, branches um, visit as well as the main location. 
and anyone at our desk will be more than happy to help you sign up for it. And don't forget, we also have Hoopla and Canopy to check out some things as well, yeah, in so case you want to check things out from home. Exactly. There you go. All right. Well, that's all, right. all I have for you, Kyle. All right. Yeah, Everyone. it sounds like a great amount of like movies that like will hit even people that don't watch as many movies like me. <laughs> uh, but it sounds like great. People definitely want to come in, check these out once they're here. And thank you so much for joining me here. Of course. My pleasure. All right. Thank all right. you, guys. See you later.